Good evening, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncover No More. This is going on my poetry channel, YouTube. And um, that's actually the YouTube that I pay for so that I can use the music the way I like. Hold on just a minute. I need to let Tadashi in, my cute key. For hopefully the last time, I asked someone to forgive me for the negativity that I had to bring forth in talking to family or friends. I'm sure they got tired of hearing that from me, but the problem is my mother hid a good large part of her life from me, her whole life, and she wouldn't let my dad tell me either, which in my book, after what I've been through, particularly since everybody found out I had the calling on my life that I actually have, um, it felt criminal many times the past 10 years. And particularly when I saw my children suffer, it felt criminal. My mother, it had to be about her. And she was selfish. But she also had been handed a pretty rough life. I will grant you that. But I have shared with more than one person that I came to the position um, last year. So it was actually Christmas of 2022. And I was just like, I, you know, um, I, I even wrote about this in my Double Moons Prayer Initiative, which is completely obliterated at this point. Um... My double moon's prayer initiative, because I am a form, as Tara, I'm a form of the moon goddess. There's some of us out there. We're, we're, we're actually, there's not very many of us as the moon goddess, the actual moon goddess. And I'm the one that had my firstborn son on my birthday and uh, one daughter on my mother-in-law's birthday and, you know, can write testimony like nobody's business I can write commentary, I can, I'm an author, but I've turned back to poetry because I write poetry and I paint and I do penmanship and freehand art and write but I make books that I will will to my children. Not all of them, but a good many of them and their families. and. I use runes, and I've settled on two sets of tarot to go with many of my books that I am making to get messages, further messages out of wise people that I'm reading, but also out of what I write. I mean, how many of you think that some of the great authors even understood themselves or what they wrote completely? If you think they understood what they wrote completely, you don't understand the solution. You don't understand the ideas of reincarnation. You don't understand a good many things that are actual reality. And I can see them in living color constantly. You don't understand, nor do you want to know. That's what I call a closed mind. Um, I have felt pretty much ill-equipped for my life, my whole life. I didn't do enough school. So I just have a lot of, I don't know, maybe you want to call it insecurities. I have a lot of difficult places in my life that people made more difficult by negativity. And I didn't, you know, I didn't understand. And I just didn't understand why people behave the way they do around me and then I got blamed for it all. I mean, I'm having to work with someone right now. We're not going to use the word blame anymore. It, life should not be about blaming each other. And this is a relationship that I have invested in for so long. I'm just 
sick of America. I'm sick of Christianity. I'm sick of what my life was invested in that's negative. And I didn't want it that way. I tried so hard and failed to negativity. Well, let me tell you something. That's actually the best thing I could have done. the best thing I could have done but that's just my opinion I, I have people in my life who do not like me and it goes just a little farther than that how do I live without living in that pain and I'm learning day by day I have other people in my life that know who I am fully as far as an archangel and all of that part and we can't be together dwelling like I can be with some of the people that really don't like me still don't want anything to do with me for whatever their reasons and they blame me so I in talking to someone today who doesn't who blames me I I, turn, I had them look at, at what I'm doing for some people in my life and I'm coloring many mandalas for people some very special people in my life regardless of all of this stuff that's going on <laughs> a lot of people in America do not want to change their habits anymore you know, I used to, when you had a common bond of blood or faith or politics or anything, you, you, you nurtured each other, but you didn't necessarily tear down other people. Now with social media, it's, it's uh, ratcheted up quite higher of a level of unkindness than that. And... Um, We have lost so much of humanity. Well, not me. And I have determined to spend more time choosing to forget that, which I just don't want to remember forever. That's what I'm going to show you because I've gone back. I've, I'm building a new website and I'm excited about it. And I have gone back to um, some books. Uh, T.S. Eliot's Collected Poems. I was going so fast in deliverance work as an exorcist for so long that I couldn't finish some of these. I had this beautiful book that I bought, I believe at Target. They had a set of a couple of them. It was called Imagine. And I have some beautiful work in here, just beautiful in places where I've prayed for people in throne rooms. Well, I'm doing four part piece now um, to read the rune draw from T.S. Eliot's Poetry, um, let's see. Chorus is from, quote unquote, The Rock. He wrote this in 1934. Let me cover this up. And uh, since, see, I, I just did this. I just read it and it's right here. And this is going up on, on a new poetry blog. And I felt great spirit, the Lord. Say, I need to hear your voice again. I took a, a break from YouTube. And I have a very hard time doing my YouTube. But I don't need to quit. Quitting is not in my nature to do. 
regardless of the rest. <laughs> so here is this book that I am resurrecting. And right here is April 7th, 2022, The Fire Sermon by T.S. Allen. I may even have uh, readings of this. I'm not going to concentrate on the readings. I'm going to concentrate on just writing portions and uh, not read as much for a little while because because I think the and here is the Western Star and I don't think I read much of this if I did so I may read more of this 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 go around uh, I have some beautiful artwork I was reading some of this uh, September 6 2021 is one of the Oh, look here, I see. This was the first poem. See, and I did use some tapes. I'll probably do that again. I have a lot of it. I'm going to just go through it again. Um, I was using, I was writing. Oh, let me just start with this then. i show you where I'm being taken back. But it's for creation. It's not for recreation. Because I have. been destroyed enough by people calling me so many things and fighting with me and demanding that I be something I'm not. I've just had enough. I've had enough. So I'm going to be more true to my solitary pagan side. And who knows, someday you may want to find me again. I am a woman who has found out that I am very vulnerable, but strong. And I'm, I have no choice but to express my emotion. If I need to cry, I cry. If I need to laugh, I laugh. I need to argue with you. I argue with you. I can't hide anything. And I'm not quite hated for it, but people don't like to be around me. And now I've given up. I now don't want to be around many people that I knew from my past any of it. Because... Because I'm tired, like I said. And so, I did read this for YouTube on August the 4th, 2021. So, um, I'm going to do it again. And so, we will start with uh, Stephen Vincent Benet. This was the first. This was the first time I had ever written, read an entire book of poetry, one by one. That's incredible to me. began this journey July 16, 2021, so we're going to, uh, here's, do you see this? And I will draw lines, like you saw in uh, Elliot's book, T.S. Elliot's. So I have another page to start out. I need to start out. He has so many books. He even has some prose. But uh, yeah, I'm going to probably stick with the poetry. I think I might like Tiger Joy and Heavens and Earth. The rest, I don't think so. He can get rather depressing. This is called a narrative poem. I didn't know that until just now. Invocation. Not for the great, 
not for the monogamous, not for the barren husbands of gold, not for the arrow makers of the soul, wasted with truth, the star regarding the eyes, not even for the few, who would not be the hunter nor the prey, who stood between the eater and the meat, the wilderness saints, the guiltless, the absolved, born out of time, the seekers of the balm, where the green grass grows from the broken heart. But for all these, the nameless, numberless, seed of the field, the mortal wood and earth, hewn for the clearing, trampled for the floor, uprooted and cast out upon the storm. From Jamestown to Benicia, this is their song, this is their testament, carved to their likeness, speaking in their tongue, and branded with the iron of their star. I say you shall remember them. I say when night has fallen on your loneliness and the deep wood beyond the ruined wall seems to step forward swiftly with the dusk, you shall remember them. You shall not see water or wheat or axe mark on the tree and not remember them. You shall not win without remembering them, for they won every shadow of the moon. All the vast shadows, and you shall not lose without a dark remembrance of their loss, for they lost all, and none remembered them. Hear the wind blow through the buffalo grass, blow over wild grape and briar. This was frontier, and this, and this your house was frontier. There were footprints upon the hill, and men lie un buried under, tamers of earth and rivers. They died at the end of labor, forgotten for men. Now and for summer, by the eastern shore, between the sea mark and the roads going west, I call two oceans to remember them. I feel the hollow darkness of their name. These are our answers. August the 2nd, 2021. I cry because this invitation true. We are not hurt any longer. And I haven't read, I haven't produced that. So, so um, I will start with some artwork. Or if I did, I'll have to find it. Perhaps I did do a page uh, for this. So I will look and see and do something with this if I haven't done it already. Or I might add to it. We'll see. I'm going to hopefully just use books like this, which is uh, for both of these, because I have some Western star work in here as well. Uh, let's see. Yes. Here it is. Oh, yes. Chimera, Chimeras is in here, and this was a very important thing. And see here. Uh, Here's Tadashi, and here's Tadashi, and this is the Western Star, August 8th, 2021. Okay, so this is the preface, I haven't read that yet. So let's see, did I do anything? No, I did not. That was something else. Okay, so I get to, uh, I get to give you the preface again, but looks like I'm going to need to do, uh, an additional work. Excuse me. So I'm not going to require that I um, do all of the Western Star before I do T.S. Eliot in, on this new website. I'm just going to probably connect the last one that I did from that book to the next one and let it flow how I need it to flow. I have to say that for myself of the religious journey I went on that was very destructive to my soul. So, I was talking to someone about being 85. And um, we'll see where I am at 85. I think I will be glad that I have done this vlog. I think I will be glad. That I have done this blog. I think it will be a source of healing. Good night.